to First Man German's 5 Minute Reviews. Planet of the Dead. The Planet of the Dead is one of those episodes where the Doctor is stranded on his own with a group of strangers. And unlike Midnight, he has a better outcome on this trip. I felt the Doctor was written a lot better here than he was in Midnight. David Tennant was bringing his A game. And I felt he was more likeable than I thought he was in a minute. But I do understand the approach here. I, I do give it a lot more credit now. But yeah, it is a bit of a little sidetrack. But hey, that happens. Coming after her Venus role of Nimria in Merv, Michelle Ryan was an interesting guest companion. Just like the Doctor and their TARDIS, Lady Christina D'Souza was a thief. And I like that she was a lot more reminiscent out of all of Ten's companions and started a trend that Lindsay Duncan would fall in The Wars Mars but with more tragic circumstance and I'll get to that in The Wars Mars review. Christina's resourcefulness with her items was hilarious and it was interesting as well because in my opinion it builds up suspense throughout the episode to that reveal. I liked how acrobatic she was as it made me enjoy the character. The guest cast was quite interesting. There was Barclay, Angela, Nathan, Liu, Carmen, Inspector Macmillan, and his officer and the driver, who were all spectacular. Macmillan reminds me of some of the same annoyance I originally had with Paz Vizsla. A rapidly big guy, as he just felt like a person doing his job, but it was like the joke, and it really played into the story. Norma Dumanzi was written as Captain Arisa McGamble. I liked her dynamic between Malcolm herself and Doctor. Um, I like the fact that she does challenge Malcolm with the whole warm harvest near the end, but also she gets a chance to defeat the three swarm creatures that come out of the wormhole and help fish them off so none of them in the world was safe. I also like her taking on Macmillan. That was sassy, loved it. I loved Doctor Malcolm Taylor, played by Lee Evans. He has a likeable formula and I enjoyed his company on screen. I just feel he's so enjoyable and I, I just love how good he is. His use of Burns and Malcolm has made me laugh. I think he would have made a good sidekick to Doctor. San Helios was, um, was an impressive setting and they did film scenes in Dubai for San Helios, the deserts. It felt like a summer holiday with danger. I felt the city being the desert was an impressive twist, especially with the use of Swarm destroying the whole civilization. The transition when we see that is so shocking, but it's beautifully horrific. The Swarm are an interesting threat, as they really look scary, they look like singers, and they felt very scary. I like the fact that they did have that danger of devouring civilizations and made it a big threat to the 200. I love the Tritivores as well. I felt they were interesting allies and I just feel sad that they were killed off because they were really great characters and I loved getting to know them and they're just as iconic as the Naughty in Ahsoka. The door was a very interesting concept as it reduced victims to a skeleton like it did to the poor bus driver R.I.P. The bus being on wireless about the first journey and then they were able to do it just on the second journey by the use of the door being Something that can destroy, yeah, definitely great. And to the seven, Ten goes through during his final episode. Carmen warns him of another prophecy, which also goes into Ud Sigma's prophecy as well, which stands out when you intertwine both prophecies. He will knock four times. Don't think she'll move, and it's more effective in the future episodes, which I personally think works a lot better as it peaks when it needs to. Finally, Rusty Davis and Murray Gold do a great job of. The music, the writing and everything. I still think it's a standout episode and I felt 2009 had a good start with the final Thank you for listening to the 5 minute review. Please like and subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all the latest regular episodes and reviews. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Subscribe to Fasman Jarrett and stay tuned for more.